In today's video, you will learn quick methods to optimize your PC for gaming by using my optimization boost application, which is free. So make sure you watch until the end of the video to receive the optimization application. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to download the optimizer application. I will leave a link in the description so you can basically download it. So once you download, what you want to do is you want to run the application. So once you open up the application, what you want to do is you want to enable performance tweaks. Well, then once you're done with that, you want to disable network throttling. Then once you're done with that, you want to head over to display error reporting and you want to click on that then once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head over to disable telemetry task you want to click on that then you also want to disable office 2006 telemetry then basically you just want to disable all of these then once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head over to the windows 10 tab if you're using windows 11 it should say windows 11 so what you want to do is you want to disable the start menu ads then you want to disable my people then you also want to disable spell checking then you also want to disable cortana and you also want to put on advanced privacy and you want to disable cloud clipboard then you want to disable sensor servers then you want to remove cars to the device then once you're done with that you want to head over to the next tab unwanted apps then you want to delete all the apps that you don't want so you're going to basically click on one and you're just going to head over to uninstall then once you're done uninstalling the unwanted apps what you want to do is you want to head over to cleaner then what you want to do is you want to tick the box temporary files then you want to tick the box error reports then you want to tick the box bsod mini dumps then you want to scroll over to whatever browser you have for example i'm using microsoft edge so what you want to do is you want to tick the box cache and then you want to hit clean then once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to go to registry then you want to enable all and then you want to hit fix then once you're done fixing all your common registry issues what you want to do is you just want to close the app and you want to restart your pc but anyway guys that was the end of the video if this video helped you please give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more content but anyway, I'll see you in the next video.